Hi, this is Margaret from Margaret's Crafts. I wanted to share with you my July knitting and crocheting projects that I finished up and the ones that I'm working on. Uh, to start off with, I wanted to share with you, I have socks. These are my first socks that I knitted and I knitted low socks purposely because I don't wear high socks. I like to wear the low socks or, you know, maybe a little bit higher than this. And last week, I was, I mean the last month when I showed them to you, I was just starting into the heel. And I was right here, not quite into starting into the toe. And I finished these and did my second one. These are just uh, vanilla uh, socks. Uh, I did a 2x2 two two ribbing for maybe about an inch and a half and then I did a couple rolls of just a knit stitch and well I did the knit stitch and then I I used the uh, afterthought heel so I put in my waist yarn and then I knitted the rest of the way down until I got to my toes and then I started my decreases and then I went back and opened up the hole where the waist yarn was and put in my uh, afterthought heel and I had did my toes. Uh, these are my little cheat sheets. I made them out of um, uh, some just some cardstock and a die cut that I have by Tim Holtz. Uh, so I call these my vanilla socks with the afterthought heel. The needles that I used were Deborah Norval uh, US size 2. Uh, or 2.75 millimeter. The yarn that I used was Lion Brand Sock Ease in the Lemon Drop colorway and they are 75% wool, 25% nylon. I also made homemade sock blockers. These were made using just a coat hanger hook. I saw these on what is it, Pearls of Paradise, Pearls of the Paradise uh, podcast for knitting and this is just a coat hanger, you know, a metal coat hanger that you get from the dry cleaners. And I just shaped it into the, the foot. And then what I did was I took a plastic bag and cut it up into long strips, uh, like about an inch wide. And then I started wrapping at the top and wrapped it all the way down and came around again. And overlapping about... Uh, two-thirds of the way so that it I was afraid that it would rust when I would be hanging my wet socks on it so I made them all up I made me uh, two sets so this is one set I made another set I just haven't put the plastic on the other set and uh, they work perfectly I wash my socks let them soak washed them real good rinsed them real good put them on my little sock blockers and hung them up over the shower hang because uh, I had went to look for them I saw them at Hobby Lobby, but they were too small. I brought, I bought one, brought it home, and it was too small. So I just made my own up, and they came out perfectly. The socks uh, feels, the, the socks feel really nice. Uh, they are rather warm, so I can't wear them right now. But I'm ready for the winter. And on to my next project. Okay, the ne the next item I have is a uh, crocheted pattern. And he sits like this. He's a little dog. I think I showed I had the head done before. And now he's all put together. He'll sit like this. And he's called uh, uh, Nanook the Husky by Lisa Beech Beechin. I used a clover hook, US size F, uh, 3.75 millimeters. The yarn that I used was Karen Simply Soft and White and Vanna's Choice and Silver Heather. And it was 100% acrylic. So he's all done. He's supposed to sit like that, like a little puppy dog. And there's his tail and his arms. And that's his cute little face. Okay, the next item is also for my son, and this one is, here he goes, so you can see better if I lay him down like that. 
this one is uh, Paul the Toadstool by I can't say it L A L Y L A L A dot com. I used a US hook size D, uh, 3.25 millimeters, a clover hook. Uh, the yarn that I used was Karen Baby Soft, uh, Canon Baby Soft, and Cinnamon and Red, Burnett Baby Coordinates Soft and Taupe. Canon Gloria and Beige and Loops and Threads Snuggly Wuggly Baby Soft and Fresh Green and it was all 100% acrylic. This is also for him. His arms can, you can position his arms in different things. Uh, like you can put him up on his mouth. My son is, this is him. <laughs> so that's why I, I put him with his arms crossed. He has little hands. Uh, he had his his uh, toast his uh, mushroom hat, which what I did was I put a couple stitches on each side of the hat so it'll stay on. His eyes were done with the safety uh, the safety eyes, and also on the the dog was also done the same way the wolf. And these are like his grass growing, and it's supposed to be those was his little feet. And it's supposed to be, I guess this is the dirt, the grass, and this is the, the stem of the mushroom, and then up to his mushroom head. That's his head. That's the back of the mushroom. There's no nose or mouth. That's just how he is. Like that. Okay. And that's all of my complete items. Uh, the items that I'm working on, well, another complete item, I made another bag. I made a large sweater bag. I don't know if I showed this before with the uh, divides on the inside a place for my uh, patterns and supplies and then the rest of the bag is divided in half and what I did was this is the sweater that I've been working on uh, it's the um, four row feathers and fan top by Peyton's and this is uh, like the front part of the sweater. And what I decided to do was uh, I want to do like you do two socks at a time. So I'm doing the front and the back at the same time. So I'm trying to wait till I catch up with the, uh, the, the back. Uh, this is the back. And when I catch up with the front uh, so that I can uh, maybe do like two or three inches on each one. So when I'm getting close to being done I'm almost done with the whole thing and I can sew it together it's coming along real nice and like before I did the same thing I made my stitch markers for this one uh, and the marks are up here these are done with the um, uh, my Deborah Norvo wood needles. I started off on a four US four, which is 3.5 millimeter, and then switched over to US six for four millimeters. And the yarn that I'm using is by Stitch Nation Bamboo U. It was just 55% bamboo, 45% wool, in the Snapdragon colorway. And these just both sit, and each one has a half of the. Uh, the inside of the basket here and what I also did was I bought some socks some really stretchy socks and what I found to use was the diabetic socks because they're super stretchy and I found these really cheap at a store here called Marks and you get three in a pack for $2.99 and they're the loose fit top socks and what I did was I just cut the sock off and made my uh, my little bar my little uh, balls 
ball holder and it also as I'm using up the yarn it shrinks down and it shrinks the ball down because the sock wants to go back to its original size and I have both of my yarns made like that I mean in the bag like that like this one is almost done it's all shrunk down and my yarn isn't um, getting all tangled and what I do with the um, the bottom of the sock I do it the same way and then I just stitch a little bit around the um, I hand stitch around the, the, the top part of it to uh, do a little hem and fold it up under so I get at least this this one is a little bit longer so I may get three of the little sock things the little ball holders out of these socks the other ones were a little shorter and I got two Uh, my last item is a new pair of socks that I'm making. It's the um, Hermani Everyday Socks by Erica Luter. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. And I made, this is a bag I had already. And what I did was I put a divider in the middle of the bag. So there's one sock on each bag. And what I'm doing is I'm doing... The double needles like I did the other ones like here's one of the socks that I stitched down and my yarn is in the inside so I'm doing uh, with the two double needles the small circular needles and right now on this one I'm ready to start into the pattern repeat these are still going to be low socks I'm going to do just like two rows of the pattern repeat before I start the heel they're just going to be a little longer and uh, the pattern that I'm using is the pattern, the material I got last month, and it's by uh, Deborah Norville, Serenity Sock Weight, uh, in the Indigo colorway, and it is 50% Superwash Merino and 25% Rayon. The needles that I'm using are the Deborah Norville wooden needles in the US2, 2.75 millimeters. So I have four needles uh, for the two sets of socks, and it's working out really nice. And because uh, there's a pattern repeat, a four pattern repeat for uh, the Hermani socks, I did the same thing and I made me new stitch markers with the uh, like one bead, two beads, three beads, and four beads. And I'm working my way up until I get to the same thing and I'm going to start the, uh, the heel on one, then the heel on the other and then work my way down the foot maybe about an a inch or two inches at a time. So I'll finish up around the same time with both socks. And they each have their own little side of the pockets that they sit in so nothing gets all tangled up. And the yarn doesn't get tangled because I have it in my little yarn sock. And then I have my little kits that I have for each of my bags. I found these at Walmart's for 97 cent. And I have a ruler. I have uh, my stitch markers that I'm using on that one. These are little peace signs with the one, two, three, and four. And there's two with one. So if I'm working on, when I finished uh, one sock and started to the pattern, I know I'm always gonna start off on the first stitch. So I have a number one on each of those. Uh, and then I found these little kits. Okay, and I found these when I was out shopping up in Cleveland this week. Uh, these are care and repair kits from Tuesday morning. They were 79 cents. And they have a little pair of scissors, some needles. Uh, but I didn't need all that stuff in them. But the scissors actually cut the cardboard. So I have a little pair of scissors. I have the needle, I have a needle threader, and I have my yarn needle, so I can put all the ends in, are all in the one little case, and it seals up and it goes in each one. The main thing I wanted was the little scissors, and then each one I put one of the little small crochet hooks that I got a Tuesday morning also, I think they were 97 cents, so if I drop a stitch I can grab it and pick it up. 
And that's what I'm keeping in the little bag that goes in each one of my little things. And I just set that on the side and put the pattern on the side and it's ready to go. Now, for the things that I bought, like I said, I had found these at Tuesday morning for $0.79. Cent. So I got the little scissors, the thimble, and some other little items in there. And uh, I bought four of these, because that's all they had was four. So I bought them four of those. Main thing I bought them for was for, for the scissors. And then I can keep those in my little bag. Uh, the next thing I bought, I bought some more of these Deborah Norval uh, size 2 16 inch ones because I only had two and I needed four to have the pair of socks going on at the same time. Also, uh, I bought some more sock yarn in the, uh, the Deborah Norval uh, Serenity Sock Weight because this is so super soft. And this colorway is aquamarine. And it has the blues and the greens with some white in there. And I used a 50% off coupon on these. They were $3.99, so I got them for $2 each. I also bought these, some more Deborah Norval Serenity Garden Yarn. And I thought that this was just to be a little thicker because this is a size 2 those are size 1 and I loved it because it had the black in it because I thought it would be some nice yarn to do socks with maybe just a little thicker socks but then I I was looking up the reviews about this and it says it doesn't do that good of socks because it doesn't have as much stretch in it but I'll find something else to use it on and these have 185 yards per roll. These were also $2.99 and I used two 50% off coupons so I got them for $2 each. And the last thing I picked up was this cotton and cream. I only picked this up because it was on clearance at, at Michael's for $0.75. Cent. And it is the uh, sugar and cream stripes and this is the pinky stripes and it has ninety five yards each and it's one hundred percent cotton so I picked that up to go with my cotton stuff and that's all that I have for you today thank you very much for watching my videos bye